Yeah, who knows happy? It's better. We could have been in just really happy. But uh, of course we, we lost before this match, three matches, and we were receiving out of goals. After our, our start, it was amazing. But the football, you know, have to know uh, in good moment. You have to, to be, to be not worry, but alert when they are coming matches like we played. And of course, against Arsenal, against Manchester City, more difficult. But Leicester really was the, our, our very bad match, and we were, we were very frustrated. But uh, we reacted very well. Today was amazing, our reaction, being competitive. A, a way we are, we are feeling good, we are feeling strong, we are uh, focusing the match in 90 minutes really, really very good. And then, of course, we need sometimes the goalkeeper to save one action. We need sometimes, of course, defensively to be strong, clearance balls, and uh, at the end, try to, to keep ball possession, try to take our moment and, and be clinical as well, uh, scoring. And we did it today. I really think uh, the resume is we, we were very competitive today. What's the message at half-time? Just stay in the game, clean sheet? The message? Yes, uh, before the match, I was speaking with the players about their experiences here. And they know it was a tough match, difficult match. But at, at, at the same time, I, I, I read the last three matches here, they were 2-1 and one draw. And I was t telling him, it's very good to know your pre-match, how is, how is the pre uh, previously, uh, the idea is, is coming. And at the end, it was like that. Difficult, ma difficult match, tough, struggling sometimes. The first half, we were, we were uh, trying to be competitive, but of course, we, we did them deserve more in the first half. But the second half, I think, as well, we keep going in the same idea, keep going uh, being competitive, keep going as well, trying to keep ball possession in some moment. And at the end, we were clinical, like uh, the first half we didn't do. But as well, uh, we stopped the pressure, the pressing. Uh, the second half, they didn't get our box really clear, like the first half they, they did. And uh, I think at the end, it was very good three points we, we, we added for, for, for us. You've been very frustrated last few weeks. Will you celebrate tonight? Will you allow yourself a glass of wine or something? Or will you try to palace now? No, I think uh, we'll celebrate each one. Uh, with family, with friends, uh, can can celebrate, but uh, we are going to prepare the next match against Crystal Palace. And of course, uh, we are so grateful our supporters, they are, they are traveling uh, away, they are with us, they are supporting us. But uh, we, we aren't playing the same, the same move, the same uh, competitive way at home. Uh, we are uh, very competitive away, we are winning out of matches away. And we want to share with them. But of course, my next challenge is at home with them against Crystal Palace next Saturday and try to, to keep being consistent like we were today, next Saturday at home. And of course, trying to, to get the uh, best performances collectively. Coutinho, uh, Coutinho? Yeah, okay. No, no, he's injured. He's injured, but he's. Uh, he's so yes. Next week, okay? No, no, no. it's more, it's more. Okay. It's longer than, than one week. New one, you go. You know, uh, you dealt well with Everton's set piece threat today. Was that something you'd spoke about? And did you feel like you did that? Everton really didn't carry much threat beyond the set piece? Yes, yes. Uh, we respect a lot. Uh, uh, I respect uh, the coach, I respect Everton as a club. I respect, of course, here in Odisha Park, it's difficult. And they threat through. Set pieces is, is as well amazing, and they were scoring goals. They were taking chances, and they they took here chances as well in set pieces. But we were very focused, uh, trying to stop them, and we did it. Did you have any doubts that he would score today? No. Uh, I, of course, I was thinking uh, how can change the match if we score or not. And I was thinking the plan, the next plan after the goal, how can 
can change or not. And of, of course, uh, I had confidence and it was very good the decision of, of Emilia Buendia, letting him clear the ball to score. And I think that is the spirit I want because I don't want to, to select each match the penalty sh shooter. I prefer speak with them and, and the specialists like they are try to 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 share in different moments to shoot the penalty. And today was the day for for Oli Watkins, clear. Okay. What was the reason for leaving Wendy on the bench? Uh, last week he he finished the match with some problem. And of course he played every match in the starting eleven. And some players as well they started not playing the starting eleven before. Ramsey or or, or John McGinn and uh, or Leon Bailey last week and he didn't sign three days Monday, th Tuesday and Wednesday he was really ready to play he was ready to play and 100% but I decided today uh, start with him in the bench and his impact was very good Do you find that he's very fired up when he doesn't play? Is he desperate to come up? Mm, that we we have to to create a, a good spirit with respect and the decision taking the decision trying to be fair every decision I I, I am taking but of course the player uh, they have to to keep respecting the team respecting my decision and and of course being like today uh, ready when I decided to to go in and be in impact like, like, like he did. I think it's perfect uh, like that. Matt, on you go. It's a, it's a muscular uh, uh, injury. And uh, I think uh, one month more or less he's going to be out. Yes, yes. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.